Good evening, and welcome to Marvelous Monday and Moments with Mary. It is a marvelous Monday with many moments to be thankful, with hopes of many more to come. The temperature outside is a little nippy. I don't know how it is where you are. So, display intelligence and adjust. I want to continue to thank all of the persons who are willingly taking care of us as we travel through these pandemic times. Help is on the way, but continue to be careful and cautious with the help. Today, I will share three happenings and one poem. The first happening is about a Greenville, Mississippi native. Greenville, Mississippi native, Dion Watson, a six foot, eight inch forward, finished his college career at the University of Idaho in 1994 when the game defined by positions dictated many young players professional options. Watson's skills were honed by playing in local parts and T.L. Weston High School, where he helped lead the star-studded team to the state championship in his junior year in 1989. And that was basketball. I don't think I mentioned that. Watson resides in Spokane, Washington, with his family, and like father, like son, he now watches his son shine at a Gonzala as a Gonzala bulldog. And that's Dion Watson. And I think I remember Dion Watson playing basketball at T.L. Weston during that time. And the second happening spotlights Dr. Leela Gaston Rhodes. Leela Gaston Rhodes was the first African-American to receive a Ph.D. degree from Florida State University School of Library Science. She was the first African-American to be elected to serve as president of the Mississippi Library Association in 1980. She was employed at Jackson State University from 1944 to 1988, which was 40 years. She was truly an outstanding lady. She departed this life December the 7th, 2020. Dr. Leela Gaston Rhodes. And the third happening, Medgar Evers and Merle Evers' home is established as a historical monument, a national monument, located on Margaret Walker Drive, Alexander Drive, Jackson, Mississippi. It's the 43rd property to be added to the National, National Park of Historical Service. Having earned the, the designation in 2019. And last, I will share a poem written by Phyllis Wheatley, which is one of my favorites. Phyllis Wheatley 
was a, at a young age showed herself to be a mature writer. She crafted verse that was deeply influenced by neoclassicism and other writers such, <clears throat> such as Alexander Poe and Thomas Gray. The subject matter was focused on freedom and morality and displayed pride in her heritage. The Wheatleys saw her potential and did not force her into the house labor they had intended to use her. Use her. And the title of the poem is On Being Brought from Africa to America. Twas mercy brought me from my pagan land, taught my benighted soul to understand that there's a God, that there's a Savior too, once our redemption neither sought nor knew. Some view our sable race with scornful eye. Their color is a diabolic dye. Remember Christians, Negroes, black as Cain, may be refined and join the angelic train. And that's on being bought from Africa to America by Phyllis Wheatley. So on today, I'd like to thank you for listening and watching. Stay positive and test negative. Be safe, social distance, laugh and read. Bold your eyes. Pray for peace and justice. Say a pre special prayer for my mother and family. I love you and will see you on Monday. Goodbye.